Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Uh, sometimes I'm in a stationery store and I see a product and it makes a claim and I go, hey, I want to test that claim out. Often it's not fancy products, then often not new products. I just happen to see one of those today and it's this. This is the Sharpie uh, Fine Liner or Ultra Fine Liner, whatever they call them, uh, Sharpie Pen. And it said, says, won't bleed through paper. It's a sort of like a felt tip, 0.8 millimeter pen stylo. Uh, it says quick drying to prevent smearing. Durable fine tip delivers precise and consistent writing. Fade and water resistant ink. So what I'm going to do today is I am going to test two claims. First is it that it won't bleed through paper because a lot of these fine liners do and if there's one that doesn't, it should be applauded. The other one I'm going to test is just some of its uh, water resistance on um, just like rhodia paper. Easy. Okay, so I'm going to take this other packet, we'll have a quick look, and then I'll, uh, I'm going to start it on Tom or River paper, and I'm going to work it down to basic sort of student notepad paper. Let's see how we go. So I'm a quite a big fan of um, of Sharpie, like their markers are great. I use a number of their other pens and highlighters. Um, I just think they make pretty decent sort of quality stuff. And uh, I like to test their claims. And as you can see there, the little felt tip. I do once it also really enjoy a felt tip. I actually prefer a good felt tip uh, to uh, like a roll, a ballpoint or something like that. So I use them occasionally, like the Yuka's ones that use fountain pen ink, I think are great. This is a basically a disposable uh, fine liner pen. Uh, so let's get it testing. Okay, I have it on some Tom or River paper here. Let's uh, just do a little writing. So we've got a Sharpie. We'll call it a fine liner. That won't bleed. Now, this is ink resistant paper. Tom River paper is designed uh, to withstand ink fairly well. Um, and so I've just done some basic writing and put like a slightly heavier swab down there. Um, this is Tom River paper courtesy of Robert Oster. So it's got his like little logo on the back there. And as you can see, it does not bleed through that. They're a show through, a ghosting, whatever you want to call it, because it is Tom River paper and that's what it does. But like it's got a nice line. It's sort of it's not it's it's certainly you know a nice sort of felt tip. Let's check it out now on uh, Rodia. Okay, so I've got my Rodia shopping list uh, pad here. Once again, let's uh, give this a whirl. Once again, as to be expected, it feels nice on this paper. It's got a nice sort of smooth pigmented uh, ink in there. Uh, oh, one thing I will do is we'll just do like a little water resistance swatch here for when that comes around. A few little details there just to see how we go. Okay, let's check out the reverse. So once again, a bit of writing, a little heavier swab there. So. It doesn't bleed, but it's on the verge there. But that is, you know, using it outside of its normal means, I'm absolutely sure. But nothing else bleeds through. So we'll come back to the water resistance in just a second. Let's now, uh, I'm going to put it on another brand of paper that I really enjoy. Um, and that paper is Midori paper. You're in a little Midori notebook. Um, just a really, once again, same sort of thing. So this is a slightly toothier paper, and it definitely feels toothier. Uh, it feels like the ink is uh, absorbing slightly more, perhaps. Uh, let's look at the reverse here. Once again, it doesn't bleed through. There is ghosting because the paper is prone to that. And there's a couple of spots there where we start to get a bit, but once again, that's me putting down quite a lot, but in the everyday writing, definitely not coming through. So, so far, three brands of paper, all good, but they are top-end brands of paper. The next three I'm going to try a more everyday paper. First stop here is Reflex Copy Paper. This is 80 GSM Copy Paper. Um, I use this for my ink reviews and all that sort of stuff as well. So we have the Sharpie Fine Liner. 
So the, these papers that I'm using now, the sort of more everyday paper, are probably more the sort of paper that the average fine line uh, fine liner user would use. Um, the other paper are more sort of designed for fountain pens, whereas this is the sort of paper you will get a form printed on at work, or you'll be marking something for you know an exam or whatever the case may be. These are the sorts of papers that you're going to be writing on you know in your everyday life. So let's check out the reverse. So what do we see? What has actually come through here? Well, once again, where we've put the uh, the sort of the heavier patch of ink down, it's come down through a little bit, but we are starting to get just a couple of spots where that ink is bleeding through. Um, one thing I will quickly test, just on the rodeo that we had before, is this quick dry for smearing. Just a... Like, I would say that's pretty quick. This is coated paper, and we are getting a bit of a smear there. Now on this paper, which is, as I said, more absorbent, it's a, not as a, not a coated paper, we are getting, you know, nothing in terms of the smearing. So it's definitely got a good quick dry time on it, which I really, really like. The next paper is a, a good quality, sort of lined, sort of, you know, office pad. Um, this is a, from uh, Officeworks store, it's one of their brands uh, here in Australia, uh, and this is, there we have it. Look, I've got to say, it does look good on all of the paper, you know, it's sort of, it's performing well, uh, it's got a nice sort of dark black um, sort of colour to it, uh, and if we look at the reverse of this page, what do we have? Well. A little more. It's got some dots coming through. For sure. So, we are starting to see the wheels fall off on this won't bleed through uh, claim, which is a shame. Like, I think it's a good fine liner. It's certainly performing better than a lot of others. Uh, but, you know, this is still sort of decent quality, you know, smooth, you know, sort of a lined paper that you would get from the store that actually from the store that these pens were bought from uh so yeah not exactly i wouldn't say it doesn't bleed i would say it's bleed resistant so far and now for some like really basic flimsy student uh notepad paper once again it looks okay on this side there's no feathering of the ink or anything like that which is really great and the reverse, well, I think we can see that it is bleeding through. Not a lot, um, you know, not too much different actually than the uh, the other pad there. Um, but as I said, this is from a student notepad that is sold by a respectable brand uh, for, you know, and a fine liner is not a sort of an abnormal pen for the average user to use. So will it bleed? A little bit. On lower end paper, yeah, of course it will. But uh, the Sharpie won't, you know, the claim here on the box, you know, it won't bleed through paper. It won't bleed through a lot of paper, um, but it will bleed through a little bit. Now let's quickly test that water resistance. Okay, so I'm testing this with just a wet cotton bud here. All right, so a little bit has come off, that's okay because, i just re-wet it and reapply it, like it's destroying the paper before we are losing the writing. So on paper, it is water resistant. You are gonna be able to, you know, archive this to a degree, um, you know, and it doesn't bleed through a lot of paper. If you're using lower end paper, you're gonna get dots through, but you'll probably get that with most things other than sort of like a, a standard ballpoint pen anyway. So I really like them. I, as I said, I like felt tip, uh, fine mar liner markers, uh, pens, uh, and this is, I think, a nice one. I think Sharpie make nice things, and I like the feel of this in the hand, and, you know, it's simple and really affordable. So, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Uh, get in touch if you'd like to support the channel. Uh, if there's a way you'd like to support it by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, I'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.